his end. Uh oh. What did I do? What did I do? Nope. Apparently, I uh, I messed things up. Oh, I messed things up, guys. Anyways, how you guys doing? Welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. Now, if you missed last week's episode, that's good because there actually wasn't an episode last week. And I thought I'd bring you guys in for this tame, which is going to take a little while longer. But look, 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 it's a 116. It's a 116. Pomona Scorpius. Male. It's one of Yuri's favorite things. I love how their mouth works when they eat. Uh, when are you going to take your next bite? It's going to be a little while. We'll come back to you later. Anyway, guys, I thought I would do sort of, uh, kind, not so much a fill episode, because we are currently working on stuff and things. For example, we have this. We have this that we're working on. That is going to be the egg barn. It is going to work in a very similar fashion as to, and ignore that, ignore that. That's something for later. Uh, it's going to work in a very similar fashion to, do, 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 this thing over here. Now the whole idea is that you place your, your dinos up on the ramp with the male watching over them securely. Hello. And uh, what will happen is poop and eggs will roll all the way off in which you would just come up and threaten the eggs to get inside your inventory. Get inside my inventory eggs. And I don't want to pick up the poop. That's Viri's job. It is very truly Viri's job. <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, guys, we got a couple of projects that we're working on. Well, you have a lot of crap in your inventory. You know what? I'm just going to keep that there. We're going to go up here. And so I thought I would show you guys, not so much around the island, because as you can see, the dreaded fog has moved in, but I could show you guys the house. This is something that I'm actually really, really proud of, guys. Uh, I'm working on it for a little bit. You can still see, I still need to, to mash up the front a little bit, the windows on the second floor. Well, there needs to be windows on the second floor. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Let me light the torch here. And let's go inside. As you can see, we have very- uh oh. Let's just get that. Worst comes to work, I'll just eat it. There we go. So, we have our industrial grill for grilling purposes. You know, I figure, because we're going to have lots and lots of men. We are the tribe of the Lost Boys, after all. And, you know, men men like grills. So, I, I got them a grill to put in the house. And we have a refrigerator. We're probably going to have a put- Another refrigerator right here, but that's that's for later. Uh, you can see right here the generator popping through the floor. I may put three refrigerators just to cover that up. So one for egg, one for kibble, one for human food. Yeah. We have our little sink over here, which will upgrade to a water metal tap when I have, you know, the engrams to get it. I, I Guys, I'm 74, and I've used up all... Oh, that's fire crackling outside. Let me turn that off. Because that scared me. I thought I was hearing uh, scorpion feet. Just put up. There we go. So, yeah, that's the house, guys. As you can see, it's a wonderful house. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. There's a whole second and third floor that I can show you. Uh, this is Moose Dog. Moose Dog is an indoor dog. Right, boy? <laughs> Moose Dog's a cute dog. His job is not only... What? What? You okay? Okay. Moose Dog is not only to, to, you know, raise morale by being so awesome and so cuddly. You're so cuddly. You're so cuddly. Yep. <laughs> uh, but not only to raise the morale, but to protect the uh, basement from intruders, which keeps looking down. I'm gonna go ahead and open the trap door. Fall in, maybe. There we go. There's nothing down here, Moose Dog. We're okay. We have our fabricator, our air conditioning for uh, air conditioning purposes. As you can see, the sink is kind of sprung a leak, but that's okay. Uh, and our generator. Did I mention our generator? We have a generator. This area was going to be sort of a storage area, but the large storage boxes don't fit neatly in here. And so I was very much disappointed about that, so I'm going to see about repurposing this area. Currently we're using it uh, to raise eggs because the air conditioners here will purposely, uh, perfectly keep the egg at the temperature it needs to be. And then we have all sorts of refining forges, and I guess I'll put a whole bunch of um, mortar and pestles and, and smithies and stuff like that. 
But I think we can at least fit a bookshelf or something down here. Let's go ahead and go through the out. And up through the top. Uh, Gop, because of arc. I can't put I can't put anything there, guys. It's okay. And uh now that the fog is cleared up, we can sit and enjoy our time here on this wonderful island. Look out into the distance and wonder where our life has gone. No. This is a pretty cool building, guys. Alright, second floor. I am all over. This is the Harry Potter room. It does not have a door yet because it doesn't have a bed. But, uh, yeah. It's the Harry Potter room. I'm not sure who we're going to give this to or if we're actually going to use this room. If I'm going to turn it into maybe like a bathroom. Like I can divide here and then put like a latrine and a water tap down here. And, uh, yeah, it would be, be a bathroom because <laughs> every house needs a bathroom. Um, because, yeah. Uh, everyone, everyone poops. Uh, got our windows. This is new. You guys probably didn't see this in my last episode. If you even saw the house last episode. Here's one of the bedrooms. Literally just a bed and a wardrobe. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to create it so that each of the Lost Boys kind of, sort of has their own room. Or maybe like a bunk bed to split rooms or whatnot. I may do bunk beds because I'm not sure how big the Lost Boys are going to get. Because we already have Kid of Optimus, and Optimus, and X-Mods, and there is talk about bringing my brother onto the server, but, uh, no word yet. It's probably because I keep forgetting to send him the server stuff. Anyway, so here's the wardrobe bed. I'm considering putting, like, a smithy, although now that we have the table, I'm, you know, I could always put a table and a desk, but I don't know. See, I thought the table was going to be so much bigger, and that's what I was going to put down in the war room. I mean the living room, but um, I don't know, see guys, it's just, when you have a table like this, it just, it looks small in a room like this, so I could put a lot of them together, but they're expensive, let me show you how, how much it takes, oh, I ate meat, that's okay though, uh, do, 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 do. here we go, table, it's a bit expensive with the metal and the wood, I mean a lot of the, uh, a lot of the furniture is a bit expensive, I just didn't expect it to be that expensive. And our wardrobes! Guys, if you haven't seen wardrobes, these are pretty cool. Where I can lay down. Sick beats. Of course, I can always pick this up and move it. I'm just I'm just not sure. I kind of like where it is. It's kind of cool. And our map, which has nothing on it. We're probably going to mark out all of our locations and enemy locations. Because we do have the tribe of PC, G, and we're going to get them. No, they're, they're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Upstairs, we have the master bedroom, which really isn't much to look at, guys. We got a double bed. Probably have a wardrobe here, wardrobe here. Maybe, maybe a table here, so we can see people who come up and interrupt us while we're working. Um, I hadn't thought if I wanted storage or not. Why is the texture being weird? Arc is weird. And you guys may notice this This is totally intentional. It's little side windows, little arrow windows in which we can, you know, shoot out. Actually, can I shoot through here? I can. Wait, can I? Hold on. Nope. Although it should have made that noise earlier. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Testing must be done. Okay, you can kind of see it shooting, but it doesn't damage the walls. So never mind, those aren't arrow slits. Those just let in light for the place. And then we get that, which looks nice. But that's about it for the house taming. Let's go ahead and take a look at my home on a Scorpius. You okay, bud? Oh, sorry. You okay, bud? Let's, let's, let's move you about. He's got Moose bed and a window which he can look out and uh, he doesn't really like his bed that much I don't know what it is about um, dinosaurs and thatch ceilings but it seems like they don't actually want to stand on it which I don't understand because it looks pretty comfy to me you know pretty pretty comfy I can actually see the layers of that that's actually really cool that's probably why they're glitching <laughs> anyway I'll, I'll stop laying in your bed and stuff 
Let's go check all my Formanoscopius. Try saying that five times fast. And as you guys notice, there's wall torches and tables and all that sort of stuff, which means we are on the latest update with the Overraptor. Oh, hey! You tamed up pretty quick. How are you? What should I call you? I actually haven't named any of my Pullman Scorpiuses. Oh, uh, let's, let's get you to passive. Just for now. And, uh, well, let's see what you tamed out at. You still have a lot of raw, raw meat. I'll take that narcotic off you. Uh, health is a little low. Melee damage is okay. Movement speed. Okay, so this is guy is going to be our speeder bike. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, let's go drop him off with the other Promonoscorpiuses so he can get used to his new area. And that means our current mail. We have a current mail open for the new egg area. Let me go ahead and drop that over to the Carno area. And boop. I will move you later. Get acquainted with your fellow dinos. Oh, you like Fred? Yeah, Fred's a cool guy. Not very high level, though, considering putting him part of the egg farm. But, you know, you know, I like Fred. He's a cool guy. Up here, we have our bird's nest. We have our pterodon level. Have you laid any eggs for me yet? I need an overraptor up here, because bird eggs, pterodon eggs and bird eggs are very, very good. Um, I don't know if you guys saw Abansur is, is Viri's motorcycle. Uh, Tomo Ray is our first attempt of breeding Star Sapphire and Abansur, and it created a 106. Which, so I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. Because they're both pretty high level, but, you know, Tomo Ray, he's pretty. And, you know, looks exactly like the Green Lantern. Which is probably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Green Lantern. That's very thing. Oh, I missed and clipped through the floor. There you see textbook. Textbook at a near 140. She's doing good. We still need to find a mate for her. And hey, look guys, fog is moving in. Don't you love it? Anyway, guys, I've probably been ranting and raveling for the next, you know, past 30 minutes or so. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, remember to press that like button. And if you really did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe. Other than that, guys, uh, see us next week for shenanigans and stuff and things where we attempt to take on the Oviraptor and a cute, cuddly animal that I have not been able to get yet. Alright, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, wrong thing. And get back in K mode, please. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care! Hello guys and welcome back and I'm in a bit of a panic. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but we have an Alpha Carno that is in our quarry area. I just got done. Alright, uh, disable wandering. You're gonna stay with me. Alright, you're gonna come with me because you, you're an excellent, excellent Carno killer. But it spawned, I don't know if you guys can see through all the sun glare, but it spawned right in our quarry. And I've lost Lone Survivor. I've, I'm panicking a bit, guys. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. We're gonna go and find Lone Survivor real quick, because I vaulted off of him to get on textbook, forgot to make him land, and he was following me. And as you can hear by the panic in my voice, you know, stuff and things are happening, guys, and I'm nervous. I just got done recording the episode. I think I just said that. You, sir, are going to stay there, and I'm going to eat your face because you wiped out all my patchies, all of my patchies, and that's not fair. Now, own survivor, where be you? I know London is over in that badly direction, and we're not gonna lose London by any stretch of the imagination. London can take care of himself. And I know he's set to neutral. Issue is, is with birds, they fly. I know that seems like a stupid thing. I'm on uh, current stud, who is uh, a very high level RG. Um, he almost beats Lone Survivor. I just I have a personal attachment to Lone Survivor. I'm gonna feel really upset if I lose him. Not far enough away to whistle. Follow all. So I'm hoping 
he kind of coasted down the mountain here and landed in one of the safe areas. I am nervous, guys. I am nervous. Okay, we'll tell you what. I'm going to go and find him real quick, and then I will be back, guys. And uh, we're going to kick that off of Karno's butt. Oh my gosh. He was right there all along. I was panicking. I was worrying. I was whistling all neutral. And he's right there. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do is whistle passive. I don't need anyone following me. Sonic. Sonic, how you doing? You doing okay, girl? Yeah, you're healing up. All right, textbook. It's time for revenge. I'm going to gamma up, guys, so you can see. There you go. You guys should be able to see now. We are going to make him pay. What level is he? See, because if he's 16, I may want to get Linda in on a fight. Except everyone here should be... It's a female alpha 16. We're just going to handle him. I love Quetzals, guys. This is amazing. Alright, let's do this. With him, we can get him backed up against the wall. Oh, not the best strategy, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm panicking a little. Well, looks like we got him trapped in a corner, which is good. I think what I'm going to do is next time around we build the quarry, we're going to put crop plots with plant species X in here. And that'll keep any bad guys away. I just, I can't believe of all the places for him to spawn in, he spawned in the quarry. And this is pretty peaceful island. Now, it could have been that he spawned and ran down the cliff to get to my guys. I'm going to check the perimeter to make sure there's no perimeter damage once this is all done. But I think we've got him pretty much made here. Yeah, with him and the wall and the wall of the cliff. This actually turned out to be pretty advantageous. I just don't know how much his health is regening. And I'm not going to give him a bite as much as I can to help it. Oh, but I'm almost out of stamina. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Alright, I'm out of stamina. That's right. Doesn't look like there's any damage to the wall. He shouldn't be able to glitch over it. Although, I've kind of pushed him. Oh, excuse me. My voice is cracking. Uh, pushed him up and over. Alright, let's go textbook. Textbook is a super quetz. Not a good situation. Not a good situation. Oh! Okay. Sorry, if you guys heard that ping, uh, my, my computer decided to share me, me some news. At like the most inopportune time. I can't tell if he's getting bloody or what. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. Let's see what's on him. Well, guys, uh, that's an exciting episode, isn't it? Uh, ooh, I like pistols. Oh, a journeyman hide hat, a ramshackle. Oh, I'll take it. You never know when, when we get new members. If they wanna wanna get some of that gear. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna flash cook all this prime. Make sure it doesn't go away. Alright guys, well again, if you did enjoy, remember to press that like button, and if you really did enjoy, then make sure to subscribe. Uh you never know what's gonna happen in the world of Ark. Sometimes, you know, it throws you curveballs and you just gotta gotta roll with it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to take care of textbook and uh, all my other dinosaurs, make sure they are okay as well. I am, I am pretty impressed by textbook's capability of handling pretty much anything that is thrown at, at her. 
I, I, I really like our quets. I really do. We're gonna level her up here soon. Alright, guys. Again, thank you so much. Let me do this properly. Hold on. I don't know if you can see me, guys, but thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care!